Our team, we're here for the five minute rush. Tell us a little bit about what got you into this film. I mean, the people that are attached to this movie uh, inspire me. Steve is an amazing guy. Um, he's been, you know, writing and producing his own work for a number of years now. Um, that's very inspiring as for somebody who's starting to move behind the camera as well, writing, directing. The collaboration of everybody involved um, that I've met throughout the years came together on this film. And I think it's, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. When it's an indie, does it mean a little bit more to you? Very much so. Um, I feel that on an indie project, we get to develop our characters a lot more. Um, when we're working on, on movies or TV shows, it's so fast. Um, and Steve was really great because we, we, were, we could actually sit down with him and break it down and say, well, you know, is this right? Is this right? You know, maybe this doesn't work for, for me playing the character. Maybe on paper for, for the character. Um, but with indie films, I think it's, it's really great because we can take the process and we can slow it down a little bit. Yeah. So tell us about your character. Um, I'm misunderstood. Um, you know, I think I'm, I, I think I'm doing right uh, in a corrupt world. I, I feel like I'm, I'm one of the better ones, but I'm just, uh, I'm just a piece of the puzzle. I'm a part of the same corruptness that's going on. It's just that I have a badge. <laughs> that makes it all better, right? <laughs> now, when you're reading about your character, is it all these things all of a sudden rushing in, telling you how to make it your own? Or is it sort of as the process goes? That's a good question. Um, you always want to um, let it marinate. And then um, I never, I personally never um, overexpose things. I never work on it too much until I get to set, until I can bounce off the other actors. And I think that's what happened with this thing. There was a lot of moments where uh, I kind of, we kind of improv a little bit. We added a little things here and there because of what the situation was going on. And, 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 and I had never worked with Steve before. And so like to get his energy coming at me and then to get my detective, uh, Bruce Blaine, who you're gonna interview in a minute, and to get all that m man energy in one room and then you start just bouncing off each other. And I think, that's, I think that's what really worked in this movie is that we all fed off each other. I mean, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Thomas Newman was just talking about doing your own stunts. Thomas! Did you all do your own stunts in this? We did, yeah. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I can't speak for everybody because I wasn't on, on set every day with them, but um, I definitely did my own stuff. Um, and it was, I mean, the stuff that that I, I wasn't involved in the bigger stuff that they were doing, like the fight scenes and stuff like that. I had to take a tumble over a car and stuff. So yeah, and I started. I mean, I actually started off off in the stunt world um, back in the late '90s, and very quickly realized that after seeing so many people get hurt, that I, I might want to try acting. You might want to prolong your career yeah. a little bit, eh? A little bit. <laughs> I have one more question for you. I try to ask each of my guests. It's actually about your socks. I think that socks tell a lot about a person, and I'd like to know what type of socks you wear. <laughs> you know what's funny? Tonight, I have this special, I'm glad I didn't wear them, but I have this special weird looking socks that I wear to auditions to make me feel happy and light, because I know that they don't know what kind of socks I'm wearing, Right. and so they're goofy, goofy, goofy looking things, and I almost wore them tonight. And you would have called me out on that. I would have. I would have but loved they, to see them, they, though. No, I am wearing just straight up. Those are nice. There's something about hoop socks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're just, it's like they're hugging your foot. It's just a better feel. Oh, yeah. I love it. So am I allowed to hear about these goofy ones? What do they look like? Well, they're almost, they're like Christmas socks. So they're like, um, they're, they're like, they're red and white. And they got like little, uh, what are those candy canes on them and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Makes me so happy. What a sock story. One other thing is that I used to sometimes put ham, slices of ham in my pockets. No, you didn't. When I go to auditions. Why? Because they don't know. And so to me, it's like a funny thing of like, I got ham in my pockets. Let's have fun. Why Let's ham? Why not pastrami? Because I don't like ham. I don't eat it, so I can just throw it away after. You won't be tempted to nibble on no. it? No. It's a true story. 
I like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice Pleasure. To you. Nice to meet Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you.